We hear a lot about environmental injustices, but have you heard about it in the beauty industry? My name is Dr. Lariah Edwards. I'm a research scientist at Columbia University Mailman School of Public Health, and I study environmental racism in the beauty industry. Beauty standards that glorify European features such as white or light skin or straight hair are more than just annoying for people of color, particularly women of color. These beauty norms create pressure for women to look a certain way in order to receive real world benefits like success in relationship or at jobs or just fair treatment. And so products like chemical straighteners or skin lighteners are heavily marketed for women of color as the answer. However, these products contain toxic chemicals that can be damaging to women's health. For example, the use of chemical straighteners has been linked to uterine and breast cancers. And mercury, which is often found in skin lighteners, has been linked to neurotoxicity and metabolic problems. In our most recent study, we wanted to characterize use of chemical, chemical straighteners and skin lighteners among individuals in northern Manhattan. We also want to understand how beauty norms impact product use. For this study, we partnered with We Act for Environmental Justice, an organization based in northern Manhattan. In our survey, we asked over 200 individuals, both women and feminine individuals, about the product that they've used and their personal reasons for using these products. We also asked questions such as, which hairstyle people generally find more beautiful on women? Which hairstyle makes women look wealthier and younger? We also asked similar questions about skin. In our study, we found that half of all respondents thought that people around them would find straight hair and light skin to be more beautiful. That's half of all respondents. We also found the use of skin lighteners was highest in the past year among Asian respondents at 57%. We also found that respondents born outside the U.S. had higher use of skin lighteners than respondents that were born in the U.S. But there was some good news with our study. But our study suggests that Black women are using less chemical straighteners, which goes in line with the natural hair movement. So what do we do? How do we push back against environmental justice in the beauty industry? There are two good ways to fight. Number one, use your voice. Advocate for bills that regulate the chemicals that are found in these products. States like Maryland and California have already passed bills that have banned the most toxic chemicals from personal care and beauty products. And number two, use your dollar. Don't buy products with toxic chemicals listed on the labels. This helps keep you safe and tell companies that you don't support these chemicals in our products. If you want to know how you can shop smarter, see the link below. And also, if you want to learn more about our study, We Ex Beauty Inside Out campaign or Institute of Change, you'll find those links below as well.